Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Um, I am the makeup muse or Elise. Um, and so today what we were going to talk about is my recent favorites for the month of June and kind of what I've been using and loving this entire month. So if you guys are interested in learning about what my favorites are for this month, then just keep watching. Okay, so to start off, I have a couple different areas of favorites this month, ranging from makeup to one food item and a body product and two hair products and then a skincare product and a candle. So I'm going to start with the candle. Um, this is something that I'm always burning back there, and this is the Caldrea um, Vanilla Lemon Candle by Target. You guys can see it's like all the way down there, but this is amazing. If you like the smell of vanilla, but you don't like it to be super, super sweet, like smells like cake frosting and kind of gives you a headache, then this is the candle that you need to get because it has the lemon in it, so it really balances out that um, vanilla flavor or kind of scent and it smells divine every time I have this burning um, people always think I'm making a cake but it's not super overwhelming so I love this and it's just a target so I think it was like um, I want to say it was like 10 12 dollars but um, yeah I'll link that below okay the next product will do hair so I've really been loving the dry bar triple sec three and one um and it texturizes amplifies and refreshes this has an amazing smell to it as well it smells so freaking good it smells like it smells kind of like a hint of vanilla with like a masculine smell to it like the um the black and the white by Elizabeth and James Nirvana, I think it's called. Those dry shampoos, it has a hint of that, but it smells like a hundred times better. It's amazing. I went to Sephora to go pick up one of those, and um, a guy who worked there was like, no, 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 you need to go pick up this. It will do three things in one. Take out the oil. It's also going to retexturize your hair, put some um, volume in it, and kind of add some oomph to it. So if you have kind of thin hair that seems to weigh down a lot, I think you would love this. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck, three products in one, so why not? And it makes your hair smell so delicious. Like you just want to like consume all of your hair <laughs> when you smell it. So I love that. Um, the next hair product is by Alterna and it's the Kendi Dry Oil Micro Mist. Okay, so I've been using this all this month and what it does, um, well, how I'll apply. I will spray this onto my hair. You can do it when it's wet and when it's dry, but I feel like it's super, super effective when you're kind of like halfway, when you've blown it dry about 50% and it's kind of half dry, half wet. And I will just spray this all over my hair, continue blow drying, and it will just make all my cuticles in my hair super, super smooth and silky and kind of tame all those flyaways. And then you can spray it again once you've gotten everything dry and it is just amazing at making your hair, hair feel super, super silky if that's really hard to achieve when you're blow drying. The next thing is from La Ossetane. So this is the almond shower oil. I have a refill bag, so I refilled this. But um, I picked this up because Makeup by Tiffany D was talking about how she loves using this. And this is their shower oil with almond oil in it. And it smells really, really refreshing, super light. It smells like how you would expect like almonds kind of to smell. So it's not super sweet. It's just a very clean shower scent so i really enjoy it i love using it on my body so it's an oil and once it hits water it kind of um turns into this cream almost and you can kind of put it all over your body i use it to shave and it keeps your skin really really moisturized so you don't necessarily have to put on lotion after you get out of the shower which i really like because that is just a really big hassle for me so if you have any recommendations for lotion to put on maybe a spray or something definitely leave me a comment down there below okay and then i'm going to do my um food product and then we'll get into makeup 
So this last thing is what I've been addicted to the whole month of June. It's the Mama Chia Chia Squeeze Vitality Snack and it's in the mango coconut flavor. Normally I'm attracted to like strawberry, blueberry kind of flavors, but I thought I'd just go ahead and try this since I'd already tried all the other flavors and I absolutely love this flavor a lot and I love all of these. If you are dying and you really need a snack, Bef like in between breakfast and lunch and you're like oh my god I'm about to fall over then if you have one of these it has chia in it so what that will do when it goes into water the seeds kind of blow up a little bit so the same thing happens in your stomach so when you ingest this this will keep you full and satisfy your hunger for at least a little bit like an hour or something until you're able to eat a meal so whenever I'm working I'll just pop one of these they're super fast and easy it looks like the little baby food containers and um, they're really good and they give you a bunch of energy and all that so i've been loving these okay now on to makeup so i also okay oh and then skincare real fast so this is the kiehl's midnight recovery eye cream and so it looks like this and you just put this on under your eyes at night and you wake up and they're very very restored and it helps for fresher young younger looking eyes and it helps to lighten up the darkness under your eyes that makes you look super super tired and what we love to you know hide with all of our awesome concealers but this will help to lighten it so maybe you won't have to use that much the reason i bought this was because kathleen lights talked about how amazing this was and she was really really dark under here had been using this for a couple weeks and it really really lightened it up and now she's recommended it to her aunt and I think some of her friends so I was really excited about using this and have been using this and I love it okay now on to makeup so first I'm gonna start with lip products that I've been loving so I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Penelope pink it's like completely flat um, but it's this color a little more tacky than the Anastasia that one's more liquidy this one's more like creamy and a little bit thicker and I will just put this I'll do it right now on the center of my lip this is a tip from makeup by Tiffany D and I love doing this and you just pat this in and it will kind of give your lips a little bit of volume it'll give that effect that your lips have this dimension in them so it looks like that really easy to apply love this and you're gonna have that for a long time if that's the only way that you use it just in the center of your lip okay so that's done with lips. Oh, one more. This is a Burt's Bees um, Tinted Lip Balm in Red Dahlia. And, okay, this looks super scary for all those people who love all their nude, nude lipsticks. But, and I was really scared of this, but a girl who I worked with put this on her lips really, really fast. She ran in the back and she put it on and I was like, oh my god hold the phone what did you just put on your lips that looks so beautiful and just perfect like i love it and she said it's just this so you can pick this up at the drugstore and you put it on and it looks so natural and it just kind of emphasizes the natural color in your lips and your lips look hydrated and um again this is a product you don't need with the mirror just slap it on and there you go now for foundations of course i've been using this the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue all this summer, but when I want a little bit more coverage, I've been loving the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and the color I have is Dawn, and I have that on today as well. It's just so awesome. If you are going somewhere and you need a makeup that's going to be super long-lasting and will stay on your skin and you know it's going to look good, then um, I would for sure get this. This is something you can always rely on. It's going to be so pretty on your skin and so flawless in pictures and in person that's a big thing because some foundations can be really flawless in pictures but not in person this one does both and it covers up anything you need i've been breaking out a little bit and this covers all the redness so i love this then for concealers absolutely been loving the maybelline master conceal and this is in the shade um light medium 30 this is amazing for blemishes so spot treatment if you need to cover up something and i will just dab that on and honestly i've tried a bunch of 
really high-end concealers and this is the only one that I will use for covering up imperfections or blemishes. It does the job perfectly and it stays on and I love it. So really, really full coverage right there. Then again, been loving the um, Complete Coverage Serum Concealer by Bare Minerals Bare Skin. Been using this under my eyes and still love that. You can watch my video about this and the Complexion Rescue from earlier. Um, another one I've been loving is the Hula Benefit Bronzer. I've been using this for my bronzer every single day during the summer. And it's just a really nice matte bronzer. So if you need one and you're kind of not sure which one to get, I would get this one. I think there's some beautiful bronzers with a little bit of shimmer in that. But I like this because you can contour your face, contour out the hollows and up here. And it just looks super natural and it looks like you actually were out in the sun with this shade of bronzer. So that's why I love it. And I'll just go over with the highlight. So what I've been using is the Laura Geller, right here, it's so pretty, Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Look how pretty it is. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And I got this in my birch box. I've been using this, I'll use just like a fan brush and just dust in there and dust on the high points of my cheeks. I used it today on my nose, a little bit on my forehead and chin. And this is a lot like the Jaclyn Hill highlight and Champagne Pop, but I feel like this is a little bit less shimmery. It's They're both very natural, but this one may be just a little bit less shimmery, but I've just been giving it a try and I absolutely love it. So just a break from my, you know, normal Champagne Pop that I use and I love this. So great one for summer. And then my last favorite is this. I've been using this a lot this month. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And this is one of my favorite palettes. It has some of the best colors in it. Super neutral. Um, and then you also have like your, oops, your fun shades like right there. And then the pink. And so you have some matte shadows and some shimmery washes too. So um, you can always kind of get a good summer look. So those are my favorites for the month of June. Oh, and also these. I have two jewelry favorites that I'm wearing. These are from Kendra Scott, and I am obsessed with these. They're so pretty. And they're super easy to put on. They're just studs, but they add such a statement, but they're not too huge to where you're like, oh my god, it's blinding. Um, so it definitely adds a fun little accessory to an outfit. And then also this from Kendra Scott, and it's called the Elise. Ooh, oh my gosh, excuse this nail. I'm just going to have to go like this. Okay, there it is. It's the Elise ring. It's in the color bar from Kendra Scott. So you can put any stone that you want in there. Woo! Um, and um, just kind of customize it to how you want. But it was my name, so I had to get it, you know. And I just put the clear in there because that's um, something that I know that I can put with any outfit. So those are my favorites for the month of June. I hope you guys enjoyed them. And um, if you guys have something that you've been using during the month of June that you cannot live without and think it's amazing, then I'd love to hear about it. And please comment below and share it with me. Um, but yeah, so you guys have a wonderful month of July coming up, and I can't wait to see you guys soon. Okay, bye.